What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Chastity. If it's your first time watching, make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss me. So in today's video, I'll be telling you about my favorite foundations that I've been using. I don't have tops to any of my foundations because I don't know where the freak they are. When I moved, everything just... I still haven't found everything that I've had. So anyways, so let's get started. So one of my recent foundations that I have is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I love this foundation with everything in me and I have mine in the 6W2. Definitely, definitely love this. It's really lightweight, it stays in place and you can like, not saying it's like a tinted moisturizer but because it's so lightweight, you could literally use it as a tinted moisturizer. Now they do have tinted moisturizers but um, that you can use and they are good too. I've tried, I've sampled some and tried it. And But this right here, if you want something a lightweight foundation and it has buildable coverage too so it builds, you can build up your coverage, start off light and build as you go but it literally sinks into the skin and it's flawless. It's like butter on the skin. Absolutely love it. So another one of my favorite foundations that um, so another one of my favorite foundations that I really like is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation, HD Skin Foundation. The only thing is it's really, really warm. So I would suggest if you're using this and you feel like it's a little bit too warm, you can take some blue pigment and mix it in with this and it kind of like cancels out the warmness of the um, foundation. But it's really, really nice. It oxidizes nice. It's not heavy, not super um cakey you can build up i apply my i apply all my foundations with a brush i don't really use um a beauty blender as much as i used to but i just like applying it with a brush so i can build up build up how i want to and then say for instance it's too much then that's when i'd go in with like a beauty blender and blend that all out you know something simple and i have this foundation in a 4r72 that is my shade um because i'm really really warm but sometimes foundations be a little bit too warm so I have to add a little pigment in there but it still does what it's supposed to do period so our next foundation is one of my absolute faves is the NARS radiant foundation I really like this foundation a lot I have mine in New Caledonia it is so nice it's it, oh, it's just amazing and it goes so well on my skin it glides on my skin it is definitely full coverage it's definitely full coverage, so a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way, so you don't need that much unless you like full extra glam makeup, then go for it. But if not, just a little bit and do your whole entire face and go from there. Another one of my favorite foundations for when I'm doing just like a um, everyday look, when I really just want to look that like look like natural natural skin, like I use the Il Maquillage foundation. I love this foundation a lot. It's very very lightweight on, um, and I have mine in the 220. Woke up like this. I absolutely love it. I've had it for about um, I want to say about roughly maybe like eight or nine months now and I use it like when I'm just like having a no makeup makeup day and I just want something to bring some little life to my skin. The next foundation I'm going to talk about which is the last foundation I'm going to show you is the Born This Way foundation and I have mine in Spiced Rum. I absolutely love it. I'm wearing it right now and as you can see it blends in so good. It looks really good. It looks really nice. I love it a lot. It's my favorite and yeah so make sure make sure you go and get one. You feel like you're like more of my skin tone try out these foundations um usually if you so if you're my skin tone and um you need recommendations on foundations let me know i can let you know exactly what shade you can get like i literally do shade matches at work all day so i'm really familiar with doing shade matches so yeah that concludes this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel give the video two thumbs up and i will see you in the next one bye